good morning to you and welcome back to the show. This is the E&L segment of the Breakfast Live show. My name is Lebene Abrokwa. It's the start of a new week and we pray that the good Lord takes us through the week safely. Now this morning we're talking about the career and the personal brand, a case of Ama Governor's story. I have here with me Nana Lexis Akosia Obenewa Opoku Ajiman. She is a personality life coach and a brand strategist. So we're going to have this conversation and more. You can call and share your thoughts by calling this number 0302-908-607. You can as well send us your WhatsApp messages on 50 Two three four seven zero seven four, so that we can all have a beautiful conversation. Good morning to you, Nana. Good morning. Good to have you. Thank you. Right. How are you doing? I'm well in yourself. Ah, not to, I hate Mondays. <laughs> so it's <laughs> very simple. stressful. It's natural. Yeah, I've, I've always said it here that I hate Mondays. I come here looking all grumpy and all of that. But once you are here, mm -hmm. we are going to strategize and, and be okay, right? Sure, absolutely. Right, so let's talk about um, personal brand. When we say personal brand, what are we trying to imply? We are simply trying to say what's, what, what speaks of you as an individual if in your absence that anybody who has experienced you and walks away carries with them. So the knowledge or the, the feedback you want people to give as count of what they, they met with you is what we define as personal brand. And in doing so, these move into your credibility. You want people to see you for or know you for a specific thing. Aside that you want to be known within, a, if it's a specified industry you find yourself in, you want your personal brand to be able to speak volumes as though you are the authority within that space. Mm -hmm. And so basically, personal brand is the experience people have with you when they are with you and when they are away from you, the experience they share with others. Because mm -hmm. then it speaks volumes of who you are. So I met Nana. She was a lovely woman. Yeah. Oh, Nana was very rude. These are accounts, exactly. These accounts for what your personal brand sh should stand for or mm. should look like. So whatever you want to put in that space for people to identify as your personal brand, it's done by yourself. I see. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about career. What is the link between um, one's career and personal brand? One's career and personal brand, we, mm -hmm. we speak about uh, moral and um, ethical values. Mm. Every career has values. Right. It has ethics. Mm -hmm. It has morals that it carries along. Mm -hmm. A typical example of being a life coach. There are activities that I have as personal life that mm -hmm. I may not ever be able to put out on social space. Right. Why am I speaking so? Because someone who is coming into my office, trusts my words, mm -hmm. believes that I'm, a I'm in a better space to be able to help them. Mm -hmm. And so even if when I'm crashing, it's quite difficult coming out to tell people that I'm equally crushing yeah. and I need assistance. So in finding myself in that space, mm -hmm. sometimes we equally go, go see therapists ourselves because you can't do it all by yourself. You're human. Yeah. And so every other individual that comes around you, experience you within your career or your field or your space of mm -hmm. profession mm -hmm. should be able to differentiate that you're different. Yes, because you've been trained with a certain ethical value. Right. Let's, let's talk about mm -hmm. the ethical values. I'm very much interested in that one. Let's talk about it. Wh what does it mean? Oh, so for, for every, every industry or for every profession, mm. uh, there are things that you're supposed to conform to. There are right. laws, there are regulations that you're mm -hmm. supposed to conform to. And if you do not, there are implications or regulations that say that, okay, you may be sacked, you may be asked to do A or B or C. Mm -hmm. That may go against you as an individual because right. then you've gone against the laws of the profession. Mm. And so when we speak of ethical values, that mm -hmm. these are things you're looking at. It, is, it even trickles down to our society. Traditions, culture, everything plays a right. role. If you find yourself within the Ghana community, there are things that they would embrace. Mm -hmm. If you find yourself within the uh, Ashanti, Ashanti community, there are certain things that you may not at, at all try mm -hmm. within those spaces because mm -hmm. these are ethical things that they hold dear to their hearts, as well as the moral ethics that they equally carry dear to themselves. So Ashanti Kingdom, and you speaking ill of the Ashanti, Ashanti mm -hmm. for example, there are certain words you may not even use at all. Mm. Because within their space, they find those words as quite unfavoring to it their could be, it could moral be, it values. It could be just as well. Exactly. Mm. And so you want to be very careful 
where you find yourself. The reason why these ethical values and the moral values play a role in our lives is because it's supposed to help society live peacefully and avoid all forms of misunderstandings, fights, and whatnot. Mm. And so if you find yourself within a career, you find yourself within a society, and there are moral values you're supposed to conform to, mm -hmm. it's ideal that you do conform to them. Even though you may have a, a personal private life or you want to keep a personal brand, that speaks a certain language, credibility, or maybe a certain professional taste. Mm. You will still want to pay attention to the, the, the things around you, what the society is embracing before you're mm. able to live in that space. Right, let's talk about um, the whole AMA governor ABBA abuse issue. I think it happened last week. What's your take on the whole issue? Ma ma I'm not so happy with the situation. Wherever I'm at, I say sorry to you for whatever has happened to you. Mm. But somewhat, um, the fingers that are pointing are telling so much on the videos that are, are being seen out mm. there. Um, right, so, so let me quickly let my viewers know. So she's a trained lawyer. She's been through um, the law school, gone mm -hmm. through the processes and all of that for six years. Now, they were called to the bar, I think, last week, but she wasn't due to um, her social media presence. People are saying most of the things, it is alleged that most of the things she says and does on YouTube is quite indecent. So she, 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 she wasn't called to the bar. Now, we are talking about this issue because it, it, it's very important and we need to address it. Nana, can you, can you continue with your submissions? Okay, for so for Amma's situation, it's just mm. unfortunate that it's gotten to this extent. Mm. Um, I also believe that the council that sat, is sitting on her case as of now equally she mm. could have known this in, in, way, in before. way before it even got to where it got to. And mm. I also believe that people around Amma could have seen some of these things come to her mm. and cautioned her to actually position her ground. Mm. When we take a look at the kind of courses that we give at, a, at my institution, mm. we're able to talk about your personal brand, your life, finding who you are, the things you stand for, regardless of what people think yeah. or say about you, and your ability to be able to live it to conform to societal rules. Mm. And this is a case of AMA. I feel personally, based on where we sit and what AMA has presented to us, she's presented a personality to us on social media. Yes. When you look at her career beyond social media, because mm -hmm. she's also peddling as um, a YouTuber, mm -hmm. which is quite a profession. Yeah. There are people who are stuck to just that and, and saying, I'm a a and they're making a lot of money. Of mm. And so if AMA wanted to stick as a YouTuber, then it's okay to create the content that she was creating. But looking mm. at the fact that she looked... Could it be that everything she was doing on social media is just for the clouds? We all know that the e numbers is everybody, money. Everybody is looking out for clouds. But mm. wh what kind of clouds are you looking for? Clouds that would never go away from you. Clouds that will bring you problems in the near future. As mm. a person, looking at even mm. taking the, the decision to say, okay, I want to be a life coach or a brand consultant, there were a lot of factors that came to play. Mm. Before you find me puts all forms of content on social media. Yeah. But then I learned one rule. Mm -hmm. The social media does not forget. Internet does not forget. Every content mm. you put out there can't pu be pulled for any, uh, any form of evidence against you mm -hmm. in the near future. Mm. And so if you're going into a certain field as an individual, a young person growing up, you want to pay attention to the things that you, you were doing. Right. Even when you have made all the mistakes, mm -hmm. you put out all the content that you feel that at the time, youthful exuberance was pushing you to do A or B or C. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that whatever Ma puts out there, mm -hmm. there are friends who give her a thumb up. Of course. Because you're, you're saying this. Comments exactly. The same people and so are it encourages her, her today. Mm -hmm. or it demoralizes her. But for whatever reason, she just didn't start YouTubing. So mm. the institution should have perhaps heard about this a long time ago. But however, we would not st say that. Um, Amma's case is one that we cannot um, salvage. I believe that mm -hmm. there's always a solution for every problem that happens. Mm -hmm. And this is a caution to everybody that out, out there within a professional space, their ethical values. But l 